Hello everyone, this is Jim West, uh, known as Wild Wild West in some circles. Uh, actually, I have about uh, three or four names. Uh, when I was growing up, everybody called me Jimmy. When I was uh, about uh, started high school, I asked, you know, tried to get everybody to start calling me Jim. Uh, there are some of my friends will call me Jimbo. And then there's a lot of people who call me James because they just simply don't know my name. Uh, that's my I always tell people that uh, when they pronounce James, they're actually mispronouncing it. The A is actually E, and the E-S is silent, so it's actually Jim. Um, let's go through the 11 through 15 of, the, of my way too early top 25. Number 11 comes in as Cardinal Gibbons. Um, I really do like Coach Wright. Uh, I love the way they play. Their running game is so incredible, and I love their... Uh, their defense. Uh, actually, Cardinal Gibbons, in a lot of ways, reminds me of uh, Charlotte Catholic. Uh, uh, besides the, the fact that uh, they're a parochial school, uh, I love their uh, team-oriented offense and defense. Uh, uh, their defense, uh, you know what, they're going to bend, but they don't break a lot. So keep an eye out on Cardinal Gibbons. I do believe that uh, they're, they uh, might be the, uh, one of the best teams inside the, uh, the Beltway uh, this coming year. Number 12 is Fuquay Verena. Uh, this is my fifth team from Wake County. I know a lot of people are going to be, be very upset about that, but I do like the Bengals quite a bit. Uh, uh, they, To me, they're going to come to be a very veteran team. Uh, they will they will definitely uh, uh, be in the contention for the, uh, uh, for the regional finals this coming year. So uh, I, I do believe Fuquay is uh, the team to look at. Number 13 is Davie County. Uh, I, I know that they had a um, uh, coaching shift uh, this, uh, during the, the season last year, and I do believe that uh, you're going to see a very, very good team. They have a lot of talent. I do believe they have a lot of talent coming back. Uh, will they beat West Forsyth in the, um, in the conference? I don't think so. Uh, I do believe that they are the second-best team. Not much better than East Forsyth, maybe just a hair better. So, uh Davie County is going to be a fun team to watch, and they'll be in contention for the 4A, uh, uh, at least a 4A regional final appearance. 14 is Gardner. Uh, the Trojans, uh, uh, there was a guy that in the state that everybody thinks is the best coach ever, uh, Tom Knotts. Uh, I bet you anything Tom Knotts still has a, uh, nightmares about the 1987 Gardner Trojans when uh, Anthony Barber, who is now the Jordan High School football coach, just ran all over his Harding Rams. I do like Gardner this coming year. I don't think they're going to uh, make a regional final. I do think they can, they're can. they probably going to be about a second or third round uh, team. I do believe that they will, uh, they're going to they're going to run a lot, and I do believe they have enough defense that uh, they keep them, keep the opponents honest. Number 15 is East Forsyth. Uh, uh, I don't think East Forsyth is going to be quite as good as they have been the last couple of years. It's a very tremendously well-coached team. I do believe they have a lot of talent. Uh, I just don't think the talent is quite uh, ready for for the the higher echelon of the 4A or 4AA uh, uh, playoffs. Uh, uh, East Forsyth, you know, they're they're a team that uh, I have them as third in their conference. They could win that conference. Uh, I just think they're just a little bit below West Forsyth and about the same level as Davie County. Uh, this is Jim West with Carolina Varsity, and that's my 11 through 15. Thank you, sir.